Okay, so in this video we're going to look at direct input of uh, data sets in R. Um, so uh, normally when you use R and when you're dealing with uh, database uh, statistics, you're going to be importing data sets from an external source, a much bigger data set. But it's still good to see how direct input works, and also you never know, you might need it uh, to just do something um, quick. So. Uh, first things first we create an object and we're going to call this particular object name and now we have to tell name what it is so we use the assign operator so less than and a dash is an assign operator so we're going to assign whatever I write here to name um, and I'm, I'll, I'll just go ahead and write this so we've got the string Bob and it's a vector so it now also needs to be a string it's the string um, Billy and what this little C is here is the combine function. So that combines Bob and Billy um, to one vector. And then we also have age. Um, and we're going to make that uh, 23 and 25. And so these are going to be our two vectors, which are going to be the two columns of our data set. And so now, to make our data set, we first data set. We're going to call it first data set. And we assign to it... Um, this data frame and so whilst above we use the function C here we use data dot frame to say alright take these two vectors um, name and age and uh, and combine them into a data frame so I, I just run this name I'm not too sure why my machine's writing out name a whole bunch of times but don't worry about that age and first data set now to see the objects in my um, in my console I can just, so I'm just going to type it directly here, ls, which is list, uh, so ls followed by a, an open bracket and a closed bracket. Now if you type that, you get all the objects that are currently in your um, in your directory. Now, as opposed to other packages like SAS where you can just click and you can view your um, your objects, you, you can't do that here. If you're, if you're familiar with command line, you'll be using ls all the time, but if you're not, it's something that I, I recommend doing to keeping it, to keep an eye on what you have. And then if you just want to view your data set, you just write first data set. And you press enter, and we see our first data set. Um, and that's how to create a very simple um, data set in R. In the next video, we'll take a look at importing data.